Everything went fine. I think you should continue with your performances. <sighs> What's the point? I'm not very good, and it's only for the same few people every night. I think you played beautifully. It would be a shame if you stopped. All mm -hmm. right, Wilhelm. I suppose it's the least I can do for you. A barge play for the love of it, not for the people. The music, let me know. Yes, yes, please. What do you play? I play the lute. If you'd like to hear something, it only costs five gold. Five gold? Hmm. I'd easily play twice that to hear you That's play. That's so sweet of you. I'll tell you what. I'll play a special song just for you, for no charge at all. Thank you so much. What is it? Is it a good one? Are you a bit shy? Is that what it is? Oh, you're going to do it now. Yes, let's have a little sit down. Oh, you took the good chair. Who wanted that chair? Oh, thank you, my lord. I shall help myself. Ah! Excuse me. I, I can't see the beautiful woman who is performing. I to Fastred yet. No. Oh. I'll tell you, Wilhelm. If I could sweep her away from here tomorrow, I'd do it. But Klimek still has so much to learn. Klimek is doing just fine. You should follow your heart. Perhaps one day, but not today. I missed the performance of that woman. You guys were talking during the entire thing. So rude. Tell me, man with the bread, what is your issue you don't here? You look like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? A pilgrim I am not, but I am a wandering bard. Ah, uh, I see you already have a bard here, and quite lovely she is too. Although I did miss most of her performance due to your, uh, incessant gabbing about people that I don't know. Ah, uh, would you tell me something about High Hrothgar? I've been called there by the Grey Beards. Apparently they want Brandar to use his voice as a weapon, but as I said, I am a bard and have no interest in such things. Have you been there? The clinic brings food supplies up to them once every few weeks, when the weather permits it. Other than that, they seem like a quiet lot. Don't really know too much about them. Quiet, huh? Except for the shouting at Brandar from the mountaintop. <sighs> what a boring conversation. Yes, I can't say you're much for conversation either, Sorry. friend. I was curious. I didn't believe the stories. I won't go over there ever again. See that you don't. I promise to keep you safe, and I'm not going to break my word. She tells the ghost over by the barrels. You know why is everyone look at you? We don't get many visitors. Your arms don't look so wide. Headed up to High Hrothgar, of course. Hmm. If Why is I that? You, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's haunted. So I've heard. Uh, could you tell me more about this barrow? Not much more to tell. They're haunted, and you should stay away. Look, I've seen one of the spirits with my very own eyes. When it glared at me, I swear it burned right through my soul. Hmm. So do the spirits come to visit your town sometime as well? Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrow. I think they're guarding it. Certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrow? Hmm. Brandar might be uh, interested in helping investigate if the price is right. If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. First things first, though, I need a room. I'm a bit uh, pooped from my travels. I was running away from a dragon today. Actually, uh, I was able to slay it all on my very own. I know, humble brag. I'm, I'm, you know, not, not, not tooting my own horn or anything, but, uh, you know, it was just me. Whether you believe that or not. I can tell by the look on your face that you don't believe it. 
Well, how about the room? Would you have a room for ten gold for this dragon slayer? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Fantastic. Hmm. Has anyone ever explored the barrow before? About a year or two ago, some fella named Windelius came through. Said he was some kind of a treasure hunter. I warned him not to go in there, just like I warned you. The very next night, we heard screams from the barrow, and that was it. We never Poor saw young him Windelius. Again. Interesting. Well, perhaps I can find him as well. Whether he's still alive or not. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Oh, Pardon thank you so me, much. Father. Would you care to hear yes. me play my lute? I I've heard it before, Let my lady. Thank you so much. Anything else you need. Thank you so much, Wilhelm. You've been quite hospitable. I Tomorrow we shall explore the barrow. <sighs> What's the point? I'm not very good and it's only for the same few people every night. I just need a bit of privacy I here. Play beautifully. It would okay. be a shame if you stop. Out, All out, out. I out, out, this out. Is the least I can do for you. Thank you so much. Ugh. I take back what I said about being hospitable. And look at this, not even a door. How is Brandar supposed to take his pants off and get comfortable, huh? Ah, a shame. Well, regardless, I shall lay down for just a catnap. Perhaps we shall head into the barrow at night. Hmm, that would be quite fitting, I think. <laughs> ah, 1 a.m. Such a wonderful time for exploring, wouldn't you agree? There's a haunted burrow in the town. Brandar must must have a look. That natural curiosity takes me over. My pockets are feeling quite light. Hello are you there. Sick? Oh. Yes, I am. Thank you so much. What a reminder. Everyone, are you feeling sick? Um. Ah. I think that did it. All right. My brain feeling a bit less swollen. Let us venture into that barrel. <sighs> the crisp night air in my lungs. What a lovely I thing. Thinking, maybe I'm the dragonborn, and I just don't know it yet. Yes, indeed. It's probably you, not me. That is uh, the belief that I've always held. Hmm. Vendor is enjoying the night. Maybe this vampire armor is having more of an effect than I give it credit for, hmm? Ah. Let's see what lies inside the barrel. I'm sure there's something the spirits must be protecting way down there. Hmm. And I can taste the gold on the tip of his tongue. And now that my mind is a bit clear, I think I could uh, make myself a bit stronger as well. Ah, yes, very nice. Ah, I feel uh, more fortitude flowing through me. Hmm. And even my light armor is starting to feel a bit more thick for some reason. Thicker, but also lighter. It's a curious sensation. And of course, water dripping from the ceilings, hmm? Ah. Let us prepare our bow. I'm sure there's nothing good waiting for Brandar down here, huh? Ah. Already we've got a few treats. All the books are ruined, though. Such a shame that You know when I started this journey, I did not value books. I was depending mostly on uh, the words of others But books are the words of others you see a lot can be learned from them Oh, what is this standing fellow? Well 
He seems to be inanimate. And there's just a little bit paranoid. Oh. How about a please or something? It might be quite nice. Ah, I need this back, friend. Did you see the ghost? My goodness. I've seen a lot of uh, undead walking around, but not an apparition of this sort. Regardless, uh, I don't find myself able to leave, my friend. There's lots of goodies to be had down here. Hmm. Before the Ages of Man. Brandar has this book. But it couldn't hurt to have another copy. Hmm. <laughs> one to read, one to sell. Yes, I shall put it in my personal library. Hmm, a series of levers. Which one to try first? Incorrect. How about this one? Oh my. Not good. Ah. Poison. This is not good. Luckily, uh, my fortitude is such that they went away relatively quickly. Hmm. Must be careful, huh? Oh. Now this one. Wonderful. And of course I must check what this one does. Closes them both. Okay. That is relatively simple, is it not? Okay, I'll see you on the way back out, my friend. Thank you so much for having me. Hmm, it is that other ghost that I do worry just a bit about. Leave this place. Ah, it is a tempting prospect, but I can't stop myself. Curiosity overtakes me, you see. Watch for that. My goodness. I wasn't quite able to avoid it. What was the trap? Oh, I see. Could have run right into those, hmm? But I didn't. Everything went fine. Ah. This chest does not seem trapped in any way. Let us see what is inside. Healing and stamina potions. Hmm. Wah, 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 wah! Ah, I should have seen it coming. I did not look to the roof. <sighs> they got me, they did. Avoid that trap. Hmm. How about this? Oh my. <sighs> Brandar's feeling a bit more skittish, like Richard. I don't look forward to what's down here. Doors to unlock. Ah, oh, this one is wide open. My goodness. What a trap they've set, hmm? Ugh. We dare not go that way just yet. How about this way? I'm expecting a trap to hit me at every corner. Oh. What deviousness. But there must be uh, something down here, if they have it so protected. So much silver. <sighs> no, it's not true, my friend. Oh, well, you seem to have got me now, hmm? Let's see. Steel arrows? Hmm. I think only silver arrows will have the effect. Ah, 
I have no silver weapons. This might be a... a bit of a bad fight. One that I cannot win without the proper weapons. Ah! Oh! Oh my! He is quite quick with the fireballs, I see. Hmm... Perhaps I have some fire resistance? Something like this? Ah, first I shall poison the bow. Yes. Very nice. Fortify my health. A little bit of healing. I'm ready now. Oh! Ah, stronger than I thought. Ah! Nobody puts Brandar in the corner. What do you have to say for yourself now, hmm? And still you come at me. <laughs> Foolish. Well, and he turned from corporeal into a uh, flesh and blood. I thought it only went the other way around. Well, let's see who you are. Hmm. Filter of the Phantom. I see. So he only appeared to be a phantom. Fascinating. Whisper wrappings. Hmm. He must be the uh, Wendelius that went down into the mines and never returned. Perhaps he lost his mind down here for some reason. It waits to be discovered, hmm? Ah, alchemy. I shall take some of these things as well. More filter of the phantom. This would be good to put a, a scare into somebody, I think. Hmm. Grandar does like to settle things without violence, you see. What about this? One, two, three, four.